in a place that you're looking for your training, you want to go to a place which has a good balance of clinical practice, uh, education or academic education and research. And a place like Mizzou, uh, where the mission of the university itself is high quality education, research and clinical practice, I think it kind of goes in line with what sort of my goals in life in academic medicine are or, and what should be for a trainee looking for a fellowship program. The GI uh, Fellowship is, is a three-year program here. We offer uh, training mostly in endoscopy and colonoscopy, so you get to be very good at uh, your scoping skills uh, here because we're more clinically based, but we do have a lot of research opportunities. We got some fantastic researchers here that can mentor you in all kinds of different aspects of research, including basic science to clinical research to trials to even biostatistics statistics like meta-analysis. During the three years of the GI Fellowship Program, the fellow can develop a niche in one disease or certain disorders or certain aspects or anatomy of a GI tract that they wanted to evaluate or to treat these disorders. They can work with closely with the faculty in that specialty. We work together as a team. We're a real team-oriented environment. We work to try to build each other up and there's not much competitiveness uh, between the faculty and the, the fellows and the trainees. It's, it's, a, it's just a great place to work in a team environment. The ideal candidate for our fellowship program is a physician who has a passion to learn about gastroenterology, who has a passion to take care of patients, and a student physician who would like to come and work with the team. The program provides a uh, well-rounded aspect in the uh, management of gastrointestinal disorders, including liver disorders, IBD, nutrition, and advanced endoscopy. In terms of the research side, we do have a research mentoring committee. So the fellows, when join the program, it will start with a research mentoring committee to guide them during their fellowship to be able to accomplish the research projects that they wanted, to, that they intended to do. There's a lot of research that we do here at Mizzou GI and that we're doing some drug trials. We're also doing a lot of meta-analysis and systematic reviews. We do quite a few things with advanced endoscopy and lots of retrospective studies. So there's lots of opportunities to get involved and uh, like we have a lot of research mentors. I don't think there's any mentor that doesn't have fellows helping them out at this point. Gastroenterology is a very hands-on uh, specialty of medicine which kind of gives you an opportunity in a place like Mizzou, which has a large volume a tertiary referral center, where you see as a large number of patients to just get those number of procedures that you need to feel comfortable. Because in tomorrow's practice, when you're independent, you know, practicing without a faculty overseeing you, you kind of need to make that decision yourself. So in a place like Mizzou, where you get a lot of volume, and not just at the university hospital, but also at the VA hospital, which is affiliated to the university. I think between the two, we get extensive amount of uh, procedures done, which makes our trained fellows who go out in the practice and seem to be doing very well from what I have seen over the last five years I've been in the institution. If you want to come to a fellowship to a, a smaller town without the hassles of the big city and gives you great clinical training with the opportunity to do the research that you want to do, I think University of Missouri-Columbia might be the place for you.